So as I move it, it adjusts the measurement. So that's real time. Okay, you don't have to press any buttons. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at my favorite little tool, the Bosch GLM 50C Professional Laser. This little guy is super handy to have. Um, you gotta have it if you're into renovations or, or building or something like it. These are so handy to have. So we're gonna run through sort of the uh, functionality of this and we'll, we'll take a look at it, how I pair it to my iPad and just some functions. So for starters, to turn it on, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you got it there, okay. So we'll roll through the functions and there's all different kinds um, and I'm not gonna get to all of them, but basically, so this is real time shooting um, you've got an area volume. So, you know, if you're trying to figure out, let's say concrete, you could shoot your wall, your floor. Um, if you're trying to do a indirect shot, that helps out a lot. Um, you've got wall area. So if you're trying to figure out paint or drywall, uh, any kind of coverings and then stake out, which is pretty handy. So, we use this if you're trying to, let's say, figure out where to put um, fence posts or if we're trying to figure out spacings for beams or something like that. This is really handy to use. And then you've got memory in here. You've got a small little level. Let's take a look at the level. So the level, you're basically trying to line up the little dot in the center. And that's how you get your level or turn it on its side and then you'll get the degrees. So this table is 1.7 degrees and then you can turn it like this. So you know if you're doing roof work or um, railings, things like that, anything that requires angles, you can kind of figure stuff out with this. It's pretty sweet to have. Yeah, just your, your overall length and then real time. So go to real time that means the laser's on it's on my hand right now so we're nine inches and three thirty seconds so as I move it it adjusts the measurement so that's real time okay you don't have to press any buttons and then we've got length so that's just you you might use this let's say if you're doing um, let's say trim like baseboards so you would take your measurement and we'll go right there. And it also shows the level line too. So you can tell if you're a little bit out of level or not. So we'd shoot this first one. So that's 10 inches and it's going to save it in the memory. So then we're going to shoot another measurement and that's one foot and, and some other numbers. <laughs> and then again, you know, one foot five, so, so on and so forth. And it saves all these measurements for you. So then you can go just do your cut list and, and away you go. So that's an example for, you know, doing baseboard, pretty handy. Um, I use this a lot for doing um, permitting. So if I'm doing a basement, for example, uh, I draw out all my walls on the program and then you can just go through and shoot it all and it just spits the numbers right out onto the iPad. Another function I use is this picture function, which we'll show today. This pairs with your iPad or your iPhone, um, basically any kind of tablet with Bluetooth capabilities and that the Bosch app supports. So I'm just gonna turn on my iPad here and we're gonna use the Bosch Measure On app. And so here's the app. Now you got to do the Bluetooth connect. So you just press the Bluetooth button. It says on, you press the Bluetooth up here and then it's connecting and it says connected. Okay. So we're good. And then we could go into a new project and we'll create, I'm not going to fill out all the stuff 
But for this demo, I want to show you the pictures. This is a really cool app, I think. So you click on pictures in this program. And you add a new, create a new picture. So you can take a new one or you can use existing. So we're going to take a new one. And I'm just going to take a photo of this couch here. Okay. So once I've taken a photo of the couch, then you go to use photo if you're happy with it. And there it is. So now let's say, um, let's, let's say we're, we need to know the dimension of this uh, tongue and groove cedar back here for the, uh, the designers because they're building pillows or something like that. So we click on this button and we can draw an arrow, drop and drag, and you can do arrows in any which way. So we could do one from here down to here. We could do this pillow on an angle, whatever we want. So once we've got all our arrows and where we want to do them, and you can, there's no real particular order, but um, let's say we wanted to know this dimension. So we just click on it. Now it's highlighted. So then I would go over to that area and I would measure it with my laser and it automatically shoots the number right onto that arrow. See? So I'm gonna shoot this other dimension and you just film here and you'll see it pop up. So, okay, there you go, just like that. And so, super awesome to have if you're, let's say you're just documenting a job or um, you need somebody to build something for you. You can do this with any photo. You could do this with a car. You could do this with a roof. You could do this um, for floors, walls, a, a backyard, anything you want. You know, if you can get an aerial shot, let's say, of, of a backyard and you're doing landscaping, you could literally just take that photo, maybe get on someone's roof, take the photo, then go back down, draw out all your arrows, and then just shoot it, and then you've, you've got it. And then you can email this. You can text it, you can do whatever you want um, just to make the job quicker, easier. Uh, people will understand a little better because sometimes drawings don't always, you know, come across properly when, when a client's trying to understand what, what you're talking about, especially if you're just doing a quick little sketch. But if you have a picture and you're like, I want to know this dimension, super easy. Right? And then you can also expand it just like, you know, anything with these tablets. So I love this program. Um, I think it's absolutely amazing and I, I can't recommend it enough. You can draw on here as well. This one I never really use that much, but you can, you can doodle, you can draw. You'd be like, I want to know what that is right there. So if you were marking something up for somebody and you're like, give me that dimension please and then you could be like okay let's let's figure out what that dimension is then you go back in here sorry i'm upside down um and then okay what's that dimension and i'll just shoot a random number here i'll just shoot the floor and it puts it right there so that was one foot one inch and 29 30 seconds so okay that's great we know what that is now um we can also put in like text. So if you want to write something, you can just write anything. And I can't really see what I'm writing, but I just put it there. So, and you can just label things. Uh, you can go back into text. You can put a little note. So your note, you can do a voicemail note if you want, or you can write a note. So again, um, we'll just put in some letters, blah, blah, blah. That's good. And that's the note. So see, it gives it a little note icon. So we know that there's maybe some details on that. And then if we need to find out what I was saying about it, we just click on it and it would give you the details. Or you can do a, a voice memo as well, um, which is pretty sweet. So. This, this thing is just endless with its functions. 
uh, check mark so you click on that so a to do okay so a new to do we got to just do some of that and then that's done so there's a little to do list as well so you've got notes to do's and we can actually have labels and this can really really organize you if you're into say quoting a job um, like a renovation because then you can just go in and you could take a picture of you know let's say a bathroom this is where it's super handy you go in you snap a couple photos of a bathroom you can quickly draw out the dimensions the cabinet height let's say if they wanted to go from a 32 up to a 34 or a 36 you can just write that in there um, with the shower you can write some dimensions you know if they want to have a border running through you could draw and put notes where you want to have that border type of glass is it borderless is it frameless whatever you know um, so many things you can do with this that I find is really really helpful when running a business and and just trying to stay organized as you can see it's endless your capabilities and that's just on this one picture program within this app this app has so many other programs um, so if we go back you know you can do uh, so that's pictures you can do walls area calculator a measurement list uh, detailed plans a quick sketch notes to do's and you can have this all in one job file and then you can just keep adding all these different files and you can send them export them whatever you need to do so people can have them um, let's do quick sketch just so you get an idea so quick sketch and you just add a new sketch um, we're not going to add any details so this let's say you're trying to figure out I don't know a quick floor plan so you just put your finger there and you can just quickly draw out a room just like that and then you can go and you can use your laser and you can let me just see if this works here yeah this one I haven't used that much so I I'm not going to get into it on this video but you can essentially laser out these walls and it'll all adjust so it's a really sweet function um, the other one that I use more often I'll go back here fingers are freezing um, it's detail plans so this one here basically you want to draw out a room so and then you just connect and we'll connect here we'll come across and then you can go back and you can you can adjust these corners to make it all work and you can delete lines if you need to so then when it comes to the measuring so the way this works is that it's like an inside outside measurement um, and they've got wall thickness wall view colors so there's all different types of ways to um, do this but what you can do is you can draw out let's say your basement and then you can just shoot all the walls it'll spit the numbers right onto here just like the, the photo app and I've actually just emailed this to the city of Calgary and I've got my permit online just by using this app alone. So there's a lot more details in here and I'll probably do another video on just that app and just this function um, and kind of go over it sort of like a tutorial perhaps um, just because you can use this to, to apply for your permits and I've done it. It's worked. It's amazing. I didn't have to hire uh, an architect or anything like that. Now, mind you, that was just for a basement. Um, when you're getting in, you know, main floor and up and you're adding stuff to the outside, let's say square footage or whatever, um, then you need architect plans. But when you're interior and you're just doing like a simple basement development, you can get away just using this. It's, it's pretty amazing. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about this, uh, which, which measures you're using. Um, 
I know there's the new Bosch ones out there, the one that with, you could take the photo. That's more for an exterior type application. But uh, yeah, let me know what programs you're using for your takeoffs and your, your quoting and uh, which, which lasers you love. I know there's some really sweet ones out there. Um, but I'm, I'm partial to Bosch. I just, I think it's such an amazing tool. So please, you know, leave us a like, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and don't forget to leave us some comments and, and we'll just keep uh, growing this channel and, and giving you all the good information that uh, hopefully you guys can, can use in your own applications. All right, guys, till next time, catch you later. Keep on crushing it.